death of 76-year-old COVID-19 positive man from Chakpi Karong rises. Total death toll from COVID-19 in Manipur to six. Chief Minister Nongthong Bombiren instructs to upgrade new COVID case center at Manipur Trade and Expo Center in Lamboy Kongnangkong to 1,000 bat capacity. Three-year-old boy from Sangtel Mamanglaikai who felt in water tank died due to alleged unwillingness by doctors at Mayang Impal Primary Health Center to revive him on time. Dr. Rajesh Kumar, IAS, becomes new Chief Secretary of Manipur. JSCC objects appointment of a non-native as Chief Secretary. Muslims in Manipur hold low-key Idul Juha celebrations following protocol to prevent spread of coronavirus. And India reports single-day spike of 57,118 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. Death toll reaches 36,511. Kurum Jari, good evening. You are watching Saturday Primetime English Bulletin on Impact News. And I'm Victoria Rajkumari with you. Our top stories this evening. COVID-19 related death toll in Manipur has reached six. A 76-year-old man from Chakpi Karong in Chandal district who died on July 30th night at CMC Quedengate turns out to be COVID-19 positive. The disease was admitted to the hospital with diabetes and hepatitis on July 30th afternoon and he died later on the same day. The death man's sample was collected for coronavirus testing on July 31st, Friday morning. His sample test result came out positive for COVID-19 Friday night. According to official source, Manipur has recorded a total of 2,261 confirmed cases of COVID-19 till Friday, out of which 955 are active cases. A total of 109 personnel of Central Armed Police Forces have tested positive for COVID-19 in Manipur yesterday. 46 Assam Rifles personnel tested positive for COVID-19 in Ukrul district alone. Out of them, 43 are Assam per Rifle personnel who were quarantined at Industrial Estate TM Kasom Quarantine Centre. Two are from Assam Rifles, Somsai, and one is from Transit Quarter, Fungreitang, Ukrul district. It may be mentioned that Industrial Estate TM Kasong Quarantine Center housed a total of 159 army personnel belonging to three battalions from Kamjong Battalion, Shangshak Battalion and Somsai Battalion, while four CRPF personnel of 109 Battalion Mongsangai also tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday. They were quarantined at Men's Club Barak at Unit Headquarter upon their arrival at the unit. Their samples were collected on July 29 for coronavirus testing and results came out yesterday. 59 BSF personnel posted in Churachanpur district also tested positive for COVID-19 yesterday. Chief Minister Nongthomambiren today inspected the ongoing works for setting up a 300-bedded new COVID care centre at Manipur Trade and Expo Centre in Lamboy, Kongnangkong. The Chief Minister paid the inspection visit to expedite the ongoing works in the wake of escalating number of COVID-19 active cases in the state. The centre, which will initially have 300 beds, is almost ready for inauguration and the Chief Minister expressed satisfaction on seeing the work progress. However, the Chief Minister instructed the concerned officials to upgrade it to a 1,000 baited centre as it has enough space for extension. The centre will initially have four blocks. Chief Minister N. Biren checked the furnitures and other essentials including toilet facilities of all these blocks. 
Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar, Health Minister L. Jayant Kumar and other relevant officials accompanied the Chief Minister during the visit. A three-year-old boy from Sangthil Mamang Laikai in Kokching district who fell into a water tank has died due to alleged unwillingness by doctors at primary health center Mayang Imphal to revive him on time. Family members of the child have appealed to the authorities concerned to take befitted actions against those doctors who are responsible for his death. Speaking to media, uncle of the deceased, Mohammed Fuziuzuddin, said his brother, Mohammed Helauddin's sons, Mohammed Himmat, fell into a water tank upon which he was immediately rushed to the PAC. But doctors there refused to act promptly to revive his nephew on the pretext of COVID-19 pandemic. Mufizuddin said his nephew was then brought to Rangina Charitable Clinic in Yumnam Hydrom. He claimed that the nurse at the clinic even confirmed that the boy was alive, but there was no doctor to treat him at the clinic. Eventually, the boy was declared death upon arrival at Mother's Care Children Hospital and Research Center in Savolban. Manipur Muslim Welfare Organization and the Youth Development Committee, Irong, have also condemned the doctors of Mayang Imphal Primary Health Center for allegedly refusing to revive drowning victim Mohammed Himmat son of Mohammed Helauddin from Sangthel Mamang Laikai of Kokching district. Press releases from the organization urged the state government to take stringent actions against these doctors. Governor of Manipur has allowed Dr. Rajesh Kumar, IAS, additional chief secretary, to hold the charge of state chief secretary with immediate effect and until further orders in public interest. It may be recalled that Dr. J. Suresh Babu retired from the post of Chief Secretary of Manipur on July 31st. In the wake of the situation, five students' organizations, namely All Tribal Students Union Manipur, Atsam, Kuki Students' Organization, KSO, All Naga Students' Association Manipur, Ansam, Democratic Students' Alliance of Manipur, Desam, and Apunba Iripaki Mehroi Sinpanlok Ames had earlier demanded the state government to assign a native of Manipur as the state's new chief secretary. Joint Students' Coordination Committee, a joint body of AMSU, MSF, KSA and SUG has demanded immediate revocation of the order which allowed Dr. Rajesh Kumar, IAS, to hold the charge of Chief Secretary of Manipur. Muslim community in the state today held low-key celebrations of Eid al Juha, the festival of sacrifice. Subdued celebrations were held at homes by offering a march owing to the prevailing lockdown due to COVID-19 pandemic. For the first time, there were no early morning mass gatherings at Idiga and Mazid in the state. Eid al Juha Azad is celebrated to commemorate the willingness of Prophet Ibrahim to sacrifice his only son in obedience of God's command. Governor Dr. Najma Habtula, Chief Minister Nongto Mambirain, Raita Sabha MP Laysem Basana Jauba, Works Minister Thongam Beswajid and many others have greeted people of the state, especially the Muslim brethren, on the auspicious occasion of Eid al Juha.
extended total lockdown and curfew for another week which began yesterday in a bid to contain the spread of coronavirus has affected normal life and the state roads and infosity bore a deserted look as people responded to the lockdown vehicular traffic on the road was nil and only few vehicles were seen plying on the streets for emergency and essential services shops and infosity remained closed except for medical stores and pharmacies Police patrol units are being stationed at strategic locations in the city to keep a strict vigil to prevent any untoward incidents. Police as well as local clubs members had advised people to stay indoors. Meanwhile, streets in local some localities are still blocked as locals are plight of locks preventing movement of people and vehicles in their effort to ward off COVID-19. The statewide lockdown will end on August 6th. Family members today clarified that the deceased COVID-19 positive man from Langol was never secretly buried at Lei in Kol Chingmeirong Cemetery on July 30 at midnight. They said the deceased man was buried in a cemetery at his birthplace Chingdai Kolen of Kangpokpi district after obtaining approval from Kangpokpi DC and the village authority on the same day he died. Baba ki arrival thauram se akoi permanent address Kampok B district ki cycle subdivision manung channel leiva Chingdai Kulen adu adu khundu da pangthok chabani adu akoi na pangthok pamatam dasu DC hi ayab lawe adu ka police police team amasung kai doctor victim na squat up yaga chabani akoi ambulance chale. Full PPE dress happy aduga babagi arriba thorando pangtok chabani aduga social media busi zinarga aran babau se lana sandok pi kanu. Jenim's medical superintendent has clarified about the recent photo which went viral on social media showing a man at Jenim's casualty and trans. The MS said the patient was awaiting results for COVID-19 test and after he tested negative for COVID-19, his name was registered in the hospital ward. He assured that Jenim's hospital is taking necessary measures to ensure that all its health care workers are protected. The Social United Club Kaibung Oinam Laikai has banned outsiders from carrying out any business activities in areas under the jurisdiction of the club until the COVID-19 lockdown ends. All India Federation of University and College Teachers Association has denounced the new National Education Policy 2020. The organization has alleged that the central government's new education policy is an effort to privatize the education sector. AIF UCTO General Secretary Professor Dr. Arun Kumar has claimed that corporate and fundamental forces will disrupt the constitutional foundation of the country's education system under the new policy. He also lamented that the new education policy gives more emphasis on line online teaching system which will eventually lead to commercialization of the education system and exclusion of many students from the knowledge revolution of the 21st century. Northeast Forum for International Solidarity, NEFIS, also condemns the new national education policy, NEP 2020. Press release from NEFIS says the NEP 2020, which was approved without holding any discussion in the parliament, exposes the BJP government's hidden agenda to incorporate the interests of private industries and corporate sectors subordinating the public interests. Coalition of Indigenes Rights Campaign Sirka Manipur is observing the 74th Independence Day of Manipur on August 14 across the state as in previous years. 
Speaking to media, Sirka Secretary Moirang Them Angamba Mite said, Sirka along with Manipur Royal Council has been observing Manipur's independence from the clutches of the British every year on August 14 at the Royal Palace of Manipur since 2015. He said, in the previous years, tutelar king of Manipur, Leisemba Sanajauba, which Ibudho Pakhangba imprinted Manipur's national flag at the Royal Palace to mark the day. However, this year, Leisemba Sanajauba will not be allowed to partake in the observance. Angamba said, Sirka has already denounced Leisemba Sanajauba as the tutelar king of Manipur after he joined politics to become Raisa Sabha MP. He appealed to citizens of the state to hoist the flag on the Independence Day. Large quantity of betel lape seeds by volunteers of Thangmaiban United Club TUC have been disposed of by burring dam at Solis West Management Plant in Lamding. Club members, officials of Food Safety Department, Imphal Municipal Corporation and personnel of Imphal West District Police disposed the items at around 10 a.m. today. It may be recalled that TUC members and volunteers recovered 90 baskets of betel lips from one Bogans residence in Langol Tarung Grace Colony on July 29th evening. Coalition Against Drugs and Alcohol Kada Judibam District Committee has appealed for a joint effort in fighting against drug traffickers to save the future of children. Kada GDC Information and Publicity Secretary K. H. Manglem Nganba said, Kada members have seized huge amount of intoxicants from various parts of Judibam District during its recent anti-drug drive. He asked the public to inform Kada about any drug dealers operating in their respective localities. He also appealed to drug dealers to find another means of livelihood. Luang Sangbam Apunba Maira Pai Bilob has denied involvement of any political groups in carrying out the intoxicant seizure drive in Luang Sangbam on July 28 morning. Press release from the association demands to stop dragging politics into the incident. A team of Moirang police station seized huge quantity of Indian mad foreign liquors and canned beers worth around 1,40,000 rupees today. Impact News sources said that the police team led by SI Onkomang Haukib and SI Samson under the command of Inspector R.K. Anil Kumar and overall supervision of SDPO Moirang Sanajauba recovered the liquors from a Tata 407 truck bearing registration number MN019235 coming from Bishnupur towards Moirang. Police recovered 42 boxes containing 396 bottles of whiskey and rum and 480 can beers. Accused driver of the vehicle and the seized liquors have been handed over to excise department for necessary actions. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring news on updates on coronavirus cases. We'll be back with the details after the break. Keep watching Impact News. Office of the Manipur State AIDS Control Society, Imphal Manipur, notice. It is hereby informed to all concerned that due to the present situation of the COVID-19, the ART Center at Rims Hospital is closed. For the convenience of our ART patients, MEGS have arranged to dispense ARV drugs by our ART staff of Rims from the office premises of Social Awareness Service Organization, Sasso Imphal West Drop-In Center, address Lamphal Supermarket, adjacent to Shankar Tokis, Imphal West 795001 Manipur. Accordingly, all the patients of ART Center RIMS are requested to take the ARV drugs from the above address from 3rd of August 2020 onwards until the situation improves. Notified by Haubam Rosita, Project Director, Manipur State AIDS Control Society. 
নর্থ ইস্ট ইন্ডিয়া আহান বই না আইজি এস ইনফ্রা সলুসন প্রাইভেট লিমিটেড না মনপুর ইন্টারনেশনাল এয়ারপোর্ট কি ভিআইপি লোস মনপুর স্টেট রুরেল লাইফলিহুড মিশন ইফল ইস কৈরাও বিত্র তানিক টাটা মোটরস আমুক কাপথপদ থা অহম আপথপ নাম্বা কোভিড কোড কি পাই পিজখ্রে আদুদা থা মি থিজি লুরব মামিং জয়পুর ক্লাব আমি ইউপি কি স্টেট রোড ট্রান্সপোর্ট কোপরেশন কি বস স্টেশন আনিদু কাপথপুনা আমুক হন হাঁটন লাইখ্রে আকুপ মরল কি আইজি এস ইনফ্রা সলুসন এম এম মেনসন নাম কন্টেক নাম্বার Panthobi Group of Companies presents Panthobi Housing Finance Company Limited regulated by National Housing Bank wholly owned by Reserve Bank of India provide subsidized home loan under PMAYCLS housing for all by 2022 mission Panthobi Microfin deals with microfinance activities only Panthobi Needy Limited provides loan against fixed deposit loan against property etc Panthobi Constructions Private Limited facilities booking started for real estate residential projects of flats villas or row houses etc for more details kindly contact Panthobi Housing Finance Company limited and its subsidiary group of companies or report to rangbam lately in form ichabu mahitam han ba haiba si mama mapa sing na macha da pi ba ngamba khwai di gi chabu khudoni slopland public school biggest and the finest residential school manipur gi oina lemjuningai oira ba mahitam ham ama oira ba khwai di gi chunara ba mapham da sembet laba cbs the affiliate toba higher secondary school oiri icha singbu admission to widana mama mapa sing na macha da pi ba ngamba খাই চাব খুদল ওইবু ইচা কি ফজব লম চত সাজ কি আহম উবিউ স্লাপন পাবলিক স্কুল খংজম আন্দ্রো এসি কি সোশ্যাল ওয়াকার ওইবগ লোন এসি আছে কংগ্রেস লুচিব ওইবত নতন ইউনাইটেড এনজিওস ফোরম মনপুর চেয়ারমেন কসাম নিথেম আন্দ্রো এসি কি মিয়ামগ থাক থরম কয়াদ মত পাব স্ফ্রুটি স্কিম কি মাদ আহান ইনস্টলমেন লিখে পিবি লোন কোভিড নাইনটিন মরম ওই লকডাউন মনুদ সেন্দান লি পিবিদম কসাম নিথেম তাইবং মপু ইয়াইফব মাই পাকপ ওহেন বিু হাই হাইজরি হাইজরি ইমা তো পুথবি নুপি ল Welcome back. You're watching Saturday Primetime English Bulletin on Impact News. India has reported a single-day biggest spike of 57,118 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. Their toll has reached 36,511. As per the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, countries' total confirmed cases have crossed 16.9 lakh out of which above 5 lakh are active cases. Total recoveries from COVID-19 surpassed 10.9 lakh mark. 36,569 recoveries have been reported in the past 24 hours in the country. With this, country's recovery rate stands at 64.52% and COVID-19 mortality rate has further declined to 2.15% in the country. Maharashtra has the highest number of active cases of nearly 1,50,000. Meanwhile, the Indian Council of Medical Research said that a total of 5,25,689 tests of coronavirus samples were conducted by the various laboratories within 24 hours. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 1 crore 78 lakh people and more than 6 lakh 83,000 people have died. Recoveries are above 1 crore 11 lakh. USA is on the top with more than 22 lakh active cases and Brazil is at second place with more than 6 lakh 89,000 active cases of COVID-19. India is at third place in the world. Now updates on coronavirus cases in Northeast region. Total active cases of COVID-19 in the northeast states, including Manipur, have crossed 15,000 mark in the last 24 hours. Assam's total confirmed COVID-19 cases have reached 40,269 mark, out of which 9,811 are active cases. Arunachal Pradesh's confirmed COVID-19 cases are nearing 1,600, out of which 670 are active cases. Nagaland's confirmed cases are nearing 1,700, out of which 1,063 are active cases. Tripura's total confirmed COVID-19 cases are nearing 5,000 mark, out of which 1,630 are active cases. There are 174 active cases of COVID-19 in Mizoram, 407 in Sikkim and 588 in Meghalaya.
Senior BJP leader and former minister P. Manikkaya Rao died of coronavirus in a private hospital in Vijayawada today. He was 59 and is survived by his wife and a daughter. Rao, who was elected to Andhra Pradesh Assembly from Telapulagudim in 2014, served as endowments minister in Chandra Babu Naidu cabinet till 2018 and resigned when the two allies snapped ties. He contested the 2019 election from Narsapuram Lok Sabha constituency but lost. Rao recently posted a video by it on social media saying he contracted COVID-19 but there was nothing to worry as he was taking good care. Rajya Sabha MP Amar Singh, who once wielded immense influence in power circles as a close abide at Samajwadi party leader Mulayam Singh Yadav, has died in Singapore when he was undergoing treatment. Singh, 64, has undergone a kidney transplant in 2011 and was not keeping well for a long time. The government has extended the ban on international flights until 31st of August amid the coronavirus pandemic. However, this restriction will not be applicable for international all cargo operations and flights specially approved by the DGCA. India had first suspended international flights on March 22nd, just before the national lockdown was announced. As part of allowing gradual movement of passenger traffic amid the pandemic situation, transport bubble agreements have been signed with the US, France and Germany. Such bilateral agreements allow the operation of flights between the two countries subject to a set of regulations. International flight services to and from India remain suspended since March 23rd due to the pandemic. Executive members of All Assam Manipuri Students Union AMSU, Karimganj District Committee, Maida Paibi, local clubs and organizations have carried out various awareness campaigns at Barak Valley and Bharmaputra Valley as a part of their ongoing demand to enlist Manipur language as the associate official language of Assam government. General Secretary of All Manipur Road Transport Drivers and Motor Workers Union Maimom Anil has warned truckers on National Highway 37 in Fal Jiribam Road not to carry more than 15 to 16 metric tons of goods as many bridges on the highway are in a deplorable condition and may collapse any time. He has also expressed concerns that people in the state will face acute shortage of essential items if truckers ever met with accidents amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Apunba Jiriba Mairapaibi AJMP Women Association for Economic Development was at Juribam, Ima Women Association of Kangli Park, Jim Wak, and Jiri Kaithil Chakka Tharang Ima Lop have appealed to the government to complete the construction of Western Gate in Judibam district. Speaking to media at Lamlen Evergreen Community Hall, Judib Babu Para in Judibam today, AJMP President S. Susila appealed to Works Minister Thongam Beswajit to resume construction of the gate. She warned that intense agitation will be carried out if their demands are not met. It may be mentioned that Chief Minister N. Biren has assured to complete the Western Gate within three months when he came to Judibam to inaugurate the Ima Market at Babupara last year. Quality maintained 
मखोइन फजना मरम दमगी ओइबनि ना निथि जना सारनबगी होना जगा सिद दुम आया पीबीयू सरकार गि माइके दिस मेन चिंसन बियु कलिगु म मसिना सहन ददना असुम लेखिब तारगदि अखोइगी गिरीगी प्रजा सिंह दु ओनाइसन सिंह ना मखल मखा कयागी आदि खोंजम चंगसल गनि हायबसे Chaghao Poyeton Organic Producer Cooperative Limited Imphal West under the aegis of Manipur Organic Mission Agency MoMA Manipur have procured organic fresh pineapples queen variety from farmers of Thayong Organic Producer Cooperative Limited who are facing plights due to unavailability of market facility. Meanwhile, Sanamahi Agro Foods Private Limited, Sawungbung, also bought organic fresh pineapple Q variety from Thayong Organic Producer Cooperative Limited for home delivery and export. Maya Kuki of Technopol has backed the title of Iowa Quarantine Queen Mrs. India 2020. She is the wife of Agripa Kakai Mate, currently residing at Ranchi in Jharkhand. The contest was held across India by online voting. Devotees performed a ritual ceremony on the third day of five-day Kangla Ichaiba at the shrine of Ibadho Pakhangba in Uttra Shanglen Sana Konung today. The ceremony was performed with prayers for peace and to end COVID-19 pandemic. Angom Ningthau dignitaries, praised prestigious, took part in the event. Pena performance praising the deity was also performed on the occasion. Now the sports news. 42 foreign football players out of the 62 foreign players will not be able to participate in the upcoming 13th Indian Premier League on time. Altogether, 125 Indian football players and 62 foreign players subdivided into eight teams are to take part in the league hosted by United Arab Emirates from September 19 till November 8. Unfortunately, 10 South African players are reportedly facing inconveniences in travelling due to the COVID-19 pandemic. While 17 Australian players and 13 England players will not be able to make it to the league on time due to a scheduled match between Australia and England. Two Sri Lankan players will also be delayed due to the scheduled Sri Lanka Premier League. Hockey India is all set to resume its national camp, which has been on halt for six weeks. Players who took part in the last camp held at Bangalore Sai Coaching Centre had to return to their respective homes June 19 onwards owing to the COVID-19 pandemic. Hockey India Executive Council has informed the former 57 participants of the camp consisting of players, coaches and support staffs, including 24 women to report to Bangalore's Sai Coaching Centre within August 5th to participate in the camp again. Karnataka Health and Family Welfare Department will place the camp participants under home quarantine for 15 days and also conduct COVID-19 tests upon them. And before we wrap up, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Death of 76-year-old COVID-19 positive man from Chakpi Karong rises. Total death toll from COVID-19 in Manipur to 6. Chief Minister Nongthoma Miren instructs to upgrade new COVID care centre at Manipur Trade and Expo Centre in Lamboy Kongnangkong to 1,000 bath capacity. Three-year-old boy from Sangtel Mamang Laikai who felt in water tank died due to alleged unwillingness by doctors at Mayang Impal Primary Health Centre to revive him on time. Dr. Rajesh Kumar IAS becomes new Chief Secretary of Manipur. JSCC objects appointment of a non-native as Chief Secretary.
Muslims in Manipur hold low-key Idul Juha celebrations following protocol to prevent the spread of coronavirus. And India reports single-day spike of 57,118 new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours. Death toll reaches 36,511. That's all we have for today. Thanks for being with us. Coming up next is Primetime Money Pre Bulletin. For more news updates, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Till then, good night.